Amen. How many glad you're still here? How many glad you're still here? Amen. How many really glad you're still here? Amen. Look at somebody say, I'm glad I'm still here. I'm glad I'm still here. Amen. Amen. Could have been dead and gone, but you're still here. Could have been dead and gone, but we're still here. Amen. Lost some loved ones, but we're still here. Mama's sick. People say that's enough, but we're still here. Oh, y'all ain't, y'all ain't, y'all not going to help me. Somebody say, I'm glad I'm still here. Y'all sound good. Y'all sound good. But I ain't gonna say it. I ain't gonna say it. I can't say it. Tony ain't back. I can't say it. Tony ain't back. 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 Somebody just raise their hand and say, I'm glad I'm still here. Oh, look at him. Somebody raise their hand and say, I'm glad.
try to let me see you sometimes. You may say, thank God I'm still here.
Amen. Amen. Romans the third chapter in the twenty-third verse. You got it, say I got it. Amen. Amen. I'm going Pentecostal. Amen. If I could for a minute. Amen. Deacon Vincent, you got it for me? Amen. Brother Morris, you got it? Amen. Read it for me. What they say? Uh huh. Being satisfied truly by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Amen. Father, let me decrease in my flesh that you increase me in the spirit. That I might say something to enlighten somebody and come closer to you. Lord, we're not here to impress anybody, but to prove us that we might see your glory through the word of God. Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord, you are my strength. And my Redeemer, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Look at somebody and tell them, say, you have God's word on it. Amen. Somebody get that. Amen. I want you to say it again. Say, you have. You've got to say it with some conviction. Act like you're trying to impress somebody. You have God's word on it. Just for that alone, you ain't got to listen to nobody else, amen. Amen. You have God's word on it. Amen. We don't talk about that, but look, just a few minutes, we're going home. I'm not going to, Sister Barbara, I'm not going to preach long. Amen. Got gifts. Sister Clark brought us some gifts. Amen. Sister Nene sent me some gifts all the way down. Somebody say, Lord, Pastor is blessed. Amen. Amen. I'm blessed. Amen. Amen. Bring them on. You got something for me? Bring it, bring it, bring it. I'm mad at Sister Denise. She cooked some food last week. Didn't bring me none. Didn't bring me none. But that's all right. I still love her. I still love her. Amen. Amen. But look at somebody again and say, you have God's word on that. Amen. Somebody going to feed me today. I feel it in my spirit. Amen. You have God's word on that too. I almost said, if you bring this prophet a cold glass of water. Amen. Ain't that what he said? Amen. Romans were talking about the faithfulness of God, how he looks out for us. Amen. But let me just preach and teach a little bit. I'm not going to hoop today. I felt like hooping from Sunday school. But I found out that a lot of hooping don't get people saved. Amen. Amen. We had great preachers in my life. My grandmama was a preacher. My daddy was a preacher. My mother was a preacher. My grandma. And they all was bad to y'all. Yes. They can wow. preach. I'm talking about they can preach better. Amen. And they sleep than most preachers can preach standing up. But I found out that it takes more than whooping to get people lined up with God. That's why, that's why, that's why they were doing all that preaching and we were doing all that sinning. Because we were, oh y'all ain't, y'all ain't, y'all. Because we wasn't hearing the word of God in our hearts. We were hearing it in our ear. And what just goes in your ear goes in one ear and comes out. Don't mean they weren't good preachers. Amen. Somebody got saved. We are a sinner. You have God's word on it. And as it's written, there is none righteous but one. For we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Look at somebody say, you have God's word on that. But this is the bad news. You will die and be cast into the lake of fire because of your sin. Oh, y'all need some people like this. Somebody say, that's the bad news. That's bad. Somebody say, you got God's word on that. <laughs> Meaning that when we don't get right in our spirits, and we keep saying, somebody say, keep saying. Yeah. Now let me tell you something. Let me get you, let's, let's take a pen of that, Sister Dean. We all, even though you're saved, make mistakes. Yeah. Ain't nobody holy like Jesus. Yeah. Whether you think you are or not. Because if you're strong in one area, you weak in celebrity in another. Oh, y'all ain't gonna help me. I wish the church was full today. I wish I had TV takes members here with me. Because when he says something like that, they like jump up. Amen. Amen. So, so watch this. Watch this. Somebody say, You have God's word on it. If we keep sinning, repeat after me. If we keep sinning, hell is waiting for us. We got God's word on it. For the wages of our sins is death. Romans 6 and 23. And the death in hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. 
Somebody say second death. First we die in this planet. And then if we take him after we die, we're not going to glory. We're going to hell. That is the second death. Look at somebody and say, you got God's bread on it. If you read the Bible, I come to find out something. God, Lord, have mercy. Let me take the glasses off so I can see not good. Do you know some people don't want to know about the work of God? Some people, I don't know about you, but when I was coming up, Brother Curry, and my mother made me go to church, you know what I said when I got older, I wasn't going? Oh, I'm going to sit down. I said when I get grown, the heck with church. Oh, y'all ain't going along with me. Some of y'all said it. If you didn't, you, you thought it. Amen. Amen. You said it. Because I, and then even if you didn't say it, you did it because you didn't go to church. Amen. Come on now. So, so therefore, we didn't want to hear about our sinful nature because once you become, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm teaching today, Pastor Brooks, once you become knowledgeable of the Word of God, you are held accountable for what you do. And we had sense enough to know if we didn't go to church, we didn't have to hear about God. So therefore, it made it easier for us, I'm talking for you, you're too scared to say it for yourself. It made it easier for us to keep doing wrong because we knew that we weren't going to church, so it was all right. Oh, I'm the only one been there, amen? Well, it was all right for us to do wrong because we weren't going to church when we heard that the ways of sin is death the gifts of God's church. So it gave us a little, amen, gave us a little bump to go out and do our thing to say, well, I ain't going to church until I get right. Why well, ain't nobody say that to me, huh? Huh? And whosoever was found not written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Revelation 20 and 14. Go there right now. I'm preaching today. I don't need no amens. I'm about to do something. I'm about to do some amen. We don't preach about it. We stay out of Revelation because folks don't want to hear about death and hell. But if you, if, watch this, but if you ain't living right and you in church and still ain't trying to get right, that's where you going. The pastor and anybody else and we don't do right, hell is waiting for us. You have God's word on it. You got it? Yes. Romans, what is it? Revelation 20, 14. Yes. Who got it? What does it say? Somebody read it. And death in hell, where it were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Uh -huh. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Somebody say you got God's word on it. If you're not found to be in the book of life, where's the book of life? God got the book of life because he's got an angel of speed right now on everything you do and everything you think. I want it quiet. I'm trying to get this. He knows your thoughts before you even think of it. He knows your motives for what you say. I'm not trying to scare you, but if it's working, let it work. You got to get ready because when you die, you either going to heaven or hell. Ain't no predatory. You ain't sitting nowhere waiting until judgment. Now, right. now watch this. Wouldn't it be terrible for you to come to church, especially the church like this dynamic, wonderful, right, open right, right. church, that yeah. lets you say what you want to say, talk and say what you want to talk and say, ask the questions you want to ask, and we try to give you a godly answer, and you still go to hell? Wow. Wow. You say, well, Pastor, I got things that I'm working on. I got stuff in me. That I know is not right, or I feel they're not right. Let God work on them. Amen. Let God work on them, but He can't work on them if you ain't coming to church. Amen. You ain't gonna get this. People, somebody told me the other week, I'm watching uh, church at home. I'm, I'm watching TV. I laughed at him. I laughed. I said, because it's so much of a difference from the atmosphere of being in a, oh, y'all ain't gonna help me. Them people that get education online, they can't go and do nothing. Oh, y'all just missed that. Now, if you got online, don't get mad at me. Because I'm saying that somebody that goes into the setting of the classroom yes. and sat in front of a professor yes. got it better than you getting it online. Yes. Am I right about that, Sister Dan? Yes. You went to college three times. You've been like your pastor. Yes. Hey, you got to go sit in the, you got to come to church and sit in the presence of God. The yes. really show the real presence of God and the word of God exemplified through you, in you, and around you. Yes. 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 Yes.
if you do, you're going to pay for it. Then, then what makes me bad, bad, when something happens to you, you don't call the television evangelist. You don't call the television. Last Sunday, I got out of church. I was with the niece invited me to dinner with her sweet self. She didn't invite me to Saturday. But anyway, let me say this. I wanted to go. I leave Denise alone, but I love Denise. Denise is my mom. She's been a rock for me. And, and she gonna cook me some of that. Whatever she cook for them. So watch this. Watch this. We have to understand that God is preparing you for heaven. That's it. You have no right going to hell. You have no right going to hell through the church. Amen? Amen. Amen? We must prepare ourselves for what God wants us to do. Every one of us made mistakes. Ain't Amen. nobody perfect, Amen. including me. Amen. If you only knew sometimes how I felt about some things, because the world apart comes out of me. <laughs> and I have to pray and say, Lord, don't let it come out, because they're not going to like me if it come out. <laughs> I'm telling them, God, not just for you, I don't want to go back to how I used to be. Sure. I look back, Beverly, at how it used to be, and I said, man, how terrible were you to be that boisterous and that loud and that cursing and that effect on people. Uh, and you came out the church. You came out the back door of the church and ran in the park and then ran back to the back church. And how do you expect somebody to go to church with you when you're doing what they're doing? Right. Right. Hello. Watch this. <laughs> Almost finished. Almost finished. You cannot save or help save yourself. You have God's word on it. Not of words, least any man should boast. Ephesians 2 and 9. But we are all an unclean thing. And all our unrighteousness is as filthy rags in the light sight of God. There are things in your life, no matter how holy you think you are, no matter how many tongues you know. They never help me, Mr. Pastor Brooks. They never help me. No matter how important you think you are in the church, you can't save yourself. And your works, okay, okay, Lord, the work that you do in church ain't going to save you either. Just because Sister Patricia, just a pad over there as an usher, God ain't going to look at her lamp book of life and say, oh, you know what? She was an usher, so this other stuff she did is okay. Pastor Monty was a pastor. So the other things he fought, the other things he did in his pastorship and all that, then no, that's not okay. I'm going to judge him by what he did, what he thought, what he said, what he didn't say. Uh-oh. Some of you will be judged by what you didn't do. You knew to do better and you didn't do better. You, you're going to be judged for that. You knew your butt went out Friday night. You went out Saturday night when you couldn't go to church Sunday morning. And hey, God got it written in the line of the line. He also got in there how you treat one another. He said, love ye one another. By this, I will know you are my disciples for you, but y'all can't even quote this. Because you show love for one another, not like. No, no, love one another. When you love somebody, they can make a mistake and you still love them. Uh-oh, I'm about to preach now, Harry. When you love somebody, they can make a mistake and you still love them. Some of you women ought to threw your hats up in here out. When you really love somebody, you, they can do some things and you still put up with them. Somebody said, that's real love. So why can't you love God's people the same way? I told you forgiving is the twin brother of forgetfulness. If you forgave somebody, you got to forget they done it. 